Hello fellow investors and influencers and welcome to our channel if you're watching our videos for the first time I'm Aurelian Ivan from CoinInfo News and today we have an interview with Jay Park the CEO and founder of Crypto Circle Exchange and I have a few questions about this incredible project the first one is Mr. Park take us to the beginning how did the idea of creating the Crypto Circle Exchange come to be? Well, uh, it all started back in 2015. Uh, I was a crypto trader back then, and um, I registered for a lot of different exchanges to uh, see how the experience was. Um, I was really excited about the crypto world and thought I'd just dive head into it and see how things went. Um, you know, it was back, you know, pretty much basically be the, between the times of like uh, Mt. Gox making off with all this uh, money in BTC as well as. Uh, Cripsy and uh, you know Big Vern going ahead and uh, you know making off with theirs and then eventually saying oh no you know it was one of our employees that did it and you know he ended up somewhere in China but you know that's another story altogether but um, you know basically uh, after seeing all these things and seeing how bad support is and how you know um, a lot of these exchanges don't care because they'll go ahead and run pump and dumps and be more than happy to go ahead and take customers money and then say hey we'll help you but you know they're not they're not really interested in what the common man has you know I mean yes has money wise but not what kind of um, experience they're having while trading or any kind of uh, you know uh, feeling towards them other than hey you're a big dollar sign what can you give me and that being said um, I've actually thought lots about this and uh, wanted to go ahead and uh, create an exchange where people can actually trade without any market manipulation pump and dumps any kind of uh, you know big pulling force towards making something that sh skyrocket that shouldn't skyrocket uh, you know something that uh, you know lots of uh, these groups that come in and try to uh, take over an exchange and make it a ground for just pumping and dumping you know um, that happens quite frequently and uh, uh, we have things in place for this you know we have anti-market manipulation that that we can that we have put in uh, we want to make sure that uh, customers don't feel like they're being basically just you know hoarded in like lemmings and taken advantage of so um, that's kind of where it all started now as a trader myself i like the idea of exchange looking after its customers this appeals to me a lot can you tell me about what you see as the vision of the exchange the vision for the exchange is that uh, we go ahead and we have a you know, safe place for traders to go ahead and um, trade basically without having to worry about market manipulation or um, pump and dumps. Uh, we're gonna have lots of features in place. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, an affiliate system. We'll have uh, a trading bot. Uh, we'll have auto trading, copy trading. Um, we'll have uh, market tools and analysis charts. Uh, we will also have uh, marginal and um, leverage trading as well as uh, social media integration and uh, sentiment. Um, we have actually uh, a bunch more features, but uh, you know, to list them all would uh, take a long time. So um, those are the ones that uh, I, I was just gonna go over. And uh, we're gonna have these uh, features and rollouts and they'll happen quarterly. And what we'll do is uh, we'll test all of them before they come out. And when they come out, we'll, we'll do more testing and uh, will make it easier for the customers to go ahead and get accustomed to all of these features instead of putting them all at one time because uh, you know when you get flooded with a whole bunch of things it gets really hard to you know take it all in at once so we want to make this um, something as easy as possible and uh, we want to make the user user interface uh, you know something that they can uh, get accustomed to or they can actually change it if they want to because it actually has a, a changeable uh, UI so uh, you know there's that and uh, you know it's it's basically all about uh, you know the customers experience you know trying to make it better 
There seems to be a lot of features that you plan on incorporating in the exchange and it looks like a very ambitious project. What you have said so far seems interesting. There are lots of ICO projects out there, so what makes your project, CryptoCircleX, different from others? Um, basically, uh, we are taking a different approach to how we're doing everything. Um, we're taking the customer in, in mind and we want to go ahead and make sure that um, they have a good experience with what we have. I mean, we have, you know, to start off with, we have uh, speed, security, scalability. Uh, we have 24 hour live customer support. Um, chat support we uh, plan on having people be able to go ahead and actually you know when they have an issue they can go ahead and talk to someone without having to worry about hey you know I just submitted a ticket and I can't get through I don't understand what's going on you know I submitted another ticket it's been a day and still I've got no response and then basically what happens is that people get to the point of where they're just frustrated and just don't want to go on and normally you know you know from my perspective I've always been like after about five or six days, if I have no response, then I might as well just go ahead and say, it's it, forget it, I don't even care and just move on. You know, I mean, if it means me losing something or not, you know, getting what I was supposed to get, then so be it because, you know, you can't go ahead and fight this big machine that they try to make and they say, oh, we're going to be there for you. But, you know, it really doesn't happen. So for us, we want to make sure that everything happens correctly. Um, and you can be uh, feel very safe and secure with us and know that we will go ahead and take care of all these issues and uh, respond to any issue that you might have uh, it doesn't matter if it's during you know the weekend or a weekday or a holiday uh, we're always gonna have somebody there for you Customer support is really important. I know that when I have to wait for pretty much anything, I don't have patience for it. Moving on, presently your ICO has started. How is the ICO going so far? Presently we are in our private sale and uh, we just started doing our promoting. So, uh, you know, we've gotten actually a lot of uh, positive feedback from experts as well as um, social media and um, We've added three new people to our team as advisors. I have uh, 21 professionals now in, on our team. As There's something else I'd like to also add. Uh, we were in our private sale. Uh, the private sale will end September 17th, at which point our uh, pre-sale starts, and that will go until October 22nd. And after that ends, we immediately go into our crowd sale, which ends November 26th. But if we hit our hard cap, we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish before then. So uh, please take a look. I'm glad to hear of your progress with the ICO. In the cryptocurrency exchange world, the media tends to focus on the bad aspects of the cryptocurrency industry. And that is what we tend to hear. How does your exchange plan on resolving these issues? Well, most of the time what we're hearing in the news is basically theft and uh, when we look at it uh, you know take for example at Coincheck in Japan they were hacked for 500 million um, then if we go ahead and go to Korea uh, you look at CoinRail they were hacked for 40 million and then you look at uh, Bitsum they were hacked for 30 million um, basically I can tell you for a fact that uh, in Korea what they were doing was they were announcing in the news how they were checking all these exchanges and out of all the exchanges they checked that none of them passed any of the security checks so and pretty much basically a 12 year old could hack their system uh, they you know the news saying this basically opened up a doorway for any hacker out there to just write a blank check and you know withdraw the money from the bank pretty much you know and the bank was you know uh, Bitsum and also CoinRail. So, I mean, that being said, uh, you know, we do uh, lots of uh, uh, security checks in uh, on our system. We have uh, third parties come in and go ahead and uh, do uh, penetration testing, and uh, it's done on it's done on a consistent basis. 
uh, we actually have uh, just you know the normal the normal user uh, uh, safeguards in place you know we'll have uh, you know uh, all of the user data is uh, stored in uh, AES 256 before going to the database um, you know we don't store uh, passwords we just store hash hashes so that you know there's no issue with that uh, we have uh, was it uh, Cloudflare in place in case of DDoS attacks and uh, you know we basically make sure that there is a safe haven for uh, your crypto funds by going ahead and having a uh, cold wallet system so that everything is stored in a vault and there's no issues of someone coming in and just you know breaking through and stealing all the funds so uh, we, we already took that in mind um, you know so all of our customers will be very safe in, in knowing that you know we've taken all these precautions already that sounds very good with all the security in place. It seems very safe for users and their cryptocurrency. In your white paper, one of the first things you mention is high performance trading of 10 million transactions per second. Can you tell us more about this? We use uh, the Golang programming language. And uh, you know, if we use a different language like uh, C++ or Python or Ruby, you know, we possibly get maybe two, three million transactions uh, per second. But, uh, you know, we prefer to actually be able to give our customers a faster language that doesn't have to worry about having bottlenecks or any issues like that of having massive amounts of uh, people trying to go ahead and um, trade at the same time. Because, uh, you know, that's a major issue. If you go ahead and look at like, uh, say, uh, say like uh, any marginal trading uh, platform they go ahead and uh, I you know I won't name the site but um, what happens is you'll go ahead and try to make a trade and when it either goes up or down it'll say uh, server overloaded and you'll have to keep trying and trying and trying and you know uh, normally what happens is you know you could lose your position get liquidated that kind of thing and you know it's not actually fair to the customer to have to go ahead and deal with these things so, um, we're avoiding that situation so why isn't everyone using Golang if it's that much faster? So we use Golang, um, but uh, you know it's a matter of preference because uh, you know some developers they won't use the uh, fastest app, uh, the you know drive the fastest car, or use the best toothbrush out there. But you know um, they feel that they're not comfortable to go ahead and make a viable product with uh, you know this technology so they'll go ahead and use the the thing that they're comfortable with which might be C++ uh, Ruby or Python which I mean they're not bad program programming languages but um, they're not as fast as Golang. Golang is the Ferrari of languages and it's meant to be driven fast. Ferrari? <laughs> you had mentioned earlier that there were lots of features coming for the crypto circle exchange one of these that interested me a lot was the anti-market manipulation can you tell us how it works listing of coins nowadays uh you know it used to be that it was like once a month you know maybe twice a month now it's become you know two or three coins a week which you know really makes pump and dumps happen a lot and uh you know that's a really big issue um, you know, so what will happen is that, you know, you'll go ahead and you'll have bought this ICO token and they list on a major exchange and you're really happy about this and you're like, oh, great, I can actually, you know, make some money off of it or it's going to do really well because it's been listed. But the problem is when they're listing that many at once, it propagates, you know, uh, pump and dumps and, you know, what will happen is that they'll go ahead and raise the price, skyrocket it up to some unrealistic value, and then crash it way down below, you know, what the value was. And you know, this being said, when this happens, you know, it, it, it kind of basically undermines the entire market of what goes on. Um, for us, we have uh, uh, we have basically a system in place that is uh, machine learning and. It watches for abnormally large trades, uh, wash trading, spoof trading, as and um, as it is, uh, whenever we see something like this happen, you know the admins will go ahead and freeze an account, 
we'll talk to the customer to see what the situation is and find out you know what's going on um, from there you know um, we'll give them a warning and then after that the next time it happens we just ban them and you know I mean we just try to go ahead and make sure that the that our at least our ecosystem is uh, a safe place to be in and that uh, you know traders don't have to worry about this that's very interesting and you also mentioned about the auto trading a trading boot and copy trading that crypto circle exchange will have can you tell us about that so basically auto trading and trading bots are basically the same thing um, you know uh, you'll go ahead and uh, tell the bot what you want to go ahead and uh, trade on and it does what it's supposed to do it's basically programmed and it'll do whatever trading you want it um, helps to keep the human factor out so that you can have a steady hand and uh, actually trade without any emotion involved um, that seems to be the problem a lot of the times you know I mean I know I have that issue when I sit there and you know I get a little bit excited about how the markets going. should I go ahead and wait should I go ahead and sell you know that kind of thing um, it, it, it'll help uh, make your trades more consistent and it'll keep you from losing money that way um, you know uh, you know instead of over trading or under trading and you know things of that nature you'll go ahead and be able to uh, you, know, you know you hear a tip and you say and they say hey you should trade this much and you should sell it this much and you can just go ahead and set it and forget it you know instead of going ahead and going through and sitting there watching it and uh, you know uh, letting your emotions get involved. Um, now for uh, copy trading, what it is is a pretty basic, uh, it's really easy is what I should say. Uh, you basically find a trader you uh, like like, and uh, see how they're trading because uh, there'll be a list of people and you can follow exactly how they trade. I mean basically all you have to do is just click on the trader, say copy and then you know designate how much money you want to go ahead and put into it or tokens as it is and then uh, it'll go from there and that's it it's a it's also a kind of a, a set and you know we can go ahead and look at it later without having to worry about anything how are you planning to provide 24-hour live customer support why do you believe your support will be different than the ones provided by other exchanges we will have 24-hour live uh, chat support for uh, customers to go ahead and basically have access to support staff um, any time of day, night, uh, weekends, holidays. Um, they will be using uh, the Zendesk support ticketing system to uh, log any issues as well as resolutions. Um, we'll go ahead and use the system to create a knowledge base at which point um, any kind of issue resolution can be uh, looked up and um, processed easier so that uh, customers have a better experience with uh, how support staff actually works and how their their resolutions are, are getting taken care of. Um, it's uh, a pretty big issue nowadays that uh, you go to most exchanges and what happens is you'll log a ticket and you know you have to wait a couple days and then sometimes they'll close the ticket on you and you kind of wonder what happened and then you go ahead and log another ticket and then they'll be like well you know give us more information and then by the time you give more information they just close your ticket anyway and that's it I mean, it's you know i mean we as traders we've all gone through this before and it's you know never very you know it's not a good experience so our main concern is that our customers have a good trading experience uh, you know it's 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 important because you know you know without customers we don't have uh, in exchange pretty much it sounds like you take your customer support seriously this is something that is always a plus in my book you have a utility token called CCX what is the purpose of the token on your exchange the CCX token is an ERC 20 token um, on the Ethereum blockchain uh, we're gonna have 300 million of them and out of the 300 million 223 million will be allocated for uh, sale, that would be 75%. Um, there will be 5% allocated for bounty and 5% allocated for um, bonus of token sales. Uh, that would leave 15% for the team. Uh, 
The CCX token has uh, multi functions, and the first one is that if you use it in conjunction with uh, trading, it lowers your fee from 0.2% to 0.1%. Uh, also, we're going to have it so that uh, you can use it to vote for your uh, favorite token that you want listed. Uh, by the time it gets to this process, we will already have um, uh, things in place that will uh, for the listing process where we go ahead and we make sure that the that the listing tokens are uh, from projects that will be long lasting as well as have some kind of developmental uh, path to it and uh, they're not just some kind of uh, you know crappy coin uh, lastly uh, the coin is going to be used for uh, our premium features so I mean you know we, you're going to use the CCX token for getting uh, uh, auto trading as well as uh, you know copy trading. Uh, there'll be some other features there that will that will be uh, pay as well. Um, we'll make it known in the future, but uh, those are just some examples. So uh, pretty much uh, that that's how the token is going to work. Uh, it's a utility token, so it uh, it'll uh, have those three functions. What can you tell us about the team behind the project? Our team is a global team. We live all over the all over the world. Uh, that gives us a better uh, perspective on how people react to certain things. Um, and that being said, uh, we're here for the customers, and we will go ahead and try to make sure that. Uh, all customers, no matter where they live, um, have a genuinely good experience when they're on our exchange. Nice! In conclusion, there are a lot of improvements that need to be done in the cryptocurrency exchange world and you guys seem to address them. What are the future plans of CryptoCircle Exchange? Uh, we try to appeal to a wide variety of individuals and uh, it's always nice to hear when someone likes or appreciates um, what we're doing. Uh, we plan on expanding our horizons and making a positive change on the cryptocurrency world and making CryptoCircle Exchange uh, a brand known as a leader in excellence. Um, something that uh, the other cryptocurrency exchanges uh, will be aspiring to be like. Um, let's say uh, we are here for our customers uh, from the novice to the experts and uh, speaking of which we will have features specifically designated for the institutional traders well um, I will talk about that later in a, at a later date in a, in a different interview um, also uh, eventually we will be adding marginal trading and leverage trading this was mentioned uh, earlier in uh, this interview and um, we'll be improving our user experience uh, as much as possible by listening to what customers have to say and uh, instituting the necessary changes needed to make uh, the customers experience better we are here to stay and plan on being around for many years to come thank you thank you mr. Park if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell. You can also join our Telegram channel and keep up with the latest news about blockchain and cryptocurrency. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next video.